Oh, curious student, let us see what is there in this question. A mass oscillating in simple harmonic motion on the end of a spring has an amplitude of x naught and a total energy of at. The mass of the spring is now doubled. Mass on the spring, not of the spring, made to oscillate with the same amplitude that is x naught. What is the total energy of the oscillating system after the change? Okay, so here. My dear students, there is a very big catch. I will tell you what. Try to listen to this now. So the formula for the potential energy, elastic potential energy, which is to be used in the case of spring mass system is given by half K amplitude square. So X naught square is the amplitude. So this is the formula for the max energy. Now, if we use this formula where K is a spring constant and we are not messing up with the spring. So the K remains constant. The mass is 2M, but the amplitude remains the same. That is X naught. Clearly, half K, which is constant, X naught is also constant. So energy contained in the spring does not change. So clearly, our answer is A in this question. Half K X naught square. Now, I tell you what other students would have done in this question and why I say that 99% of the students would be going with, I think, C option here. But let me tell you why. So majority of the students want to use the data booklet and the formula given in the data booklet is half M omega square X naught square. This is the formula which is given in the data booklet and you would be opening the data booklet at that time and you will see that okay mass is there mass is doubled clearly the energy is doubled and hence the answer is C and there you are the answer is wrong A is the correct answer for this my dear students at this point data booklet is really deceiving you people isn't it in my private lectures I have told like thousand times to my students this formula is not supposed to be used ever. Like this formula is given in the data booklet, but I believe this is one of those formulas which are highly deceiving and this formula is not required. I tell you, why is this uh, formula giving you a different answer? You see, definitely mass M is there and if you are uh, doubling the mass, it is getting multiplied by two, but you forget that omega is also sitting here as a variable. Omega is not constant. What is omega in this? Omega is equal to k by m square root. This is how we define the natural frequency. Okay, this is how the natural frequency. Omega is basically the natural frequency of the system. What is natural frequency? You just disturb it and leave it. The frequency chosen by the system by itself is the natural frequency. So this omega is natural frequency. So this natural frequency is in itself dependent on the mass m. From this equation, I can say only k is constant, m is variable and omega is also a variable. So it means that it was half, mass is doubled, but what is happening to omega? It is omega square. So omega square is equal to k by m. Clearly, when the mass is doubled, your omega square is getting divided by 2. So your new omega is omega square divided by 2 and thereby 2 and 2 are getting cancelled and this is what students have not considered. They think that omega, there is no change in omega, there will be no difference in omega but you are wrong because your natural frequency is dependent on this. What is the time period for a spring pendulum? 2 pi root of m by k. Clearly the time period is dependent on the mass m. And from there also you can say that omega is dependent. So omega is equal to 2 pi by t. And so by using this formula, you can clearly see that it is coming out to be k by m square root. So k is constant, but other two variables are not constant. So this formula given in the data booklet is highly deceptive and you must not be using this formula. Well, as, as, as of uh, as uh, as per my knowledge as of now, I believe this formula should not be used in any of the cases. It's kind of redundant. You please refrain from using these kind of formulas. But, but in coming time, if I be create some question where this formula will be of some use, I, I, I don't guarantee you that. But as of now, this formula is not to be used in any of the questions. This formula on contrary is world's most famous 
and most popular um, most effective formula when it comes to energy in simple harmonic motion you need not to know any other formula by the way okay dear students so this is professor varun please uh, share the video with all your friends and join the youtube channel if you want to learn even more deeper concepts because i would be providing you with the online course where i'm already talking about these kind of concepts and i would be providing you with all of the descriptions for paper two questions you need to join the YouTube channel. Okay, dear students, all the best. Bye.